Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this lesson, we'll be discussing a new functional equation that can be solved using our lovely substitution strategy. But this time, we'll be learning a new method which we will call the circle method. So basically, the circle method is just creating a circle that starts with x and that ends with x. But when we find this circle, then the problem is solved. So, we'll be trying to find a circle in this problem that starts with x and end with x. So can we find that circle? Let's find out. So our problem statement is the following. Find all functions f from r to r such that f of x minus x times f of x minus 1 over x equals 1. So first, if we, re we can realize that f of x is linked to f of x minus 1 over x. So we can say that x is linked to x minus 1 over x. So in order to find the f of x, we need to evaluate the f of x minus 1 over x. So simply let's substitute x with x minus 1 over x. Okay, so the first substitution is substituting x with x minus 1 over x. So now we have f of x minus 1 over x minus x minus 1 over x times, so let's evaluate this. We have x minus 1 over x minus 1 over x minus 1 over x. So let's multiply everything uh, by x. x minus 1 minus x over x minus 1. And that equals x, uh, excuse me, 1 over 1 minus x. Okay, so now here we have f of 1 over 1 minus x. And that equals 1. Okay. So let's erase this. So the first thing we did is substituting x with x minus 1 over x because x is linked to x minus 1 over x. Okay, so what, what's next? Since now we have f of x minus 1 over x is linked to f of 1 over 1 minus x. So in order to evaluate this f, we need to evaluate this f. So now we have x minus 1 over x is linked to 1 over 1 minus x. So in other words, to know the value of f of x, we need to know the value of f of 1 over 1 minus x. So what we will do here is the same as we did here. We'll substitute x with 1 over 1 minus x, but in this functional equation. Okay, so let's do this. So the next, so the second substitution will be x substituted with 1 over 1 minus x. And that will give f of 1 over 1 minus x minus 1 over 1 minus x times f. So let's evaluate this. Now we have 1 over 1 minus x minus 1 over 1 over 1 minus x. Multiplying everything with uh, or by one, 1 minus x gives 1 minus 1 minus x over 1. So that is simply x. Cool. So now we have this is f of x and that equals 1. So let's erase this. So 
So now we can see that f of one, mi f of one over one minus x is linked to f of x. So basically, we have created our circle, and we can say that one over one minus x is indeed linked to x. So now we have a system of three linear equations containing f of x, f of x minus one over x, and f of one over one minus x. Now we can solve these three equations and find the value of f. So let's do this. So in order to solve these equations, we will simply evaluate f of one over one minus x using f of x from the third equation and find the value of f of x minus one over x from the first equation using f of x and then substituting everything with f of x in the second equation. So let's do this. So first we have f of x minus one over x is equal to f of x minus one over x. Nice. And now we have the value of f of one over one minus x from the third equation is equal to simply one plus one over one minus x times f of x. So all we need to do now is substitute these two f's here in the second equation. So let's do this. Okay, so here we have f of x minus one over x minus x minus one over x times one plus one over one minus x times f of x and that all equals one. So let's multiply everything by x. Okay, let's do this after raising here to get some space. Okay, we can erase all of this. Okay, so now we have, after multiplying by x, f of x minus 1 minus x minus 1, and here x minus 1 times 1 over 1 minus x is simply minus f of x, and here we have x because we have multiplied by x. So now we have f of x minus minus f of x is two f times f of x. And minus one plus one cancels each other. And now we have here minus x becomes two times x, which means that simply our function f is nothing but x. So we have the identity function. So let's check whether the identity function satisfies our relation. So if we substitute here x minus, x cancels x. So now we have x minus x minus 1 equals 1. And that is true. And so we are done. So the idea of the circle method is simple. Start with x and keep substituting until you reach x. And when you do reach x, then simply your problem is solved. So in the next lesson, we'll be solving one last functional equation using the circle method. But trust me, it won't be that simple. So see you guys in the next lesson. Don't forget to subscribe.